Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, they're ready. And Twitch chat, you're ready too, right? Oh wait, zones go oh no, there's zone, okay. Oh man, oh man. Okay. All right, let's do it. All right, three, two, one, go! Let's go. All right, who's gonna start first? Zone is gonna be the first to start. All right, and these runners are off, man. This is exciting. This is exciting. Did Teeks just die? What happened? I looked away for a set. How did he die? That's okay. That's okay. Wipe it off, Teeks. You're okay. What happened? Chat. How did he? How did he die? I missed it. Did he? Piranha plant. Yeah. So did he not pipe rub? Did he not do patented pipe rub? Oh, he didn't do the pipe rub. This is why people do the pipe rub. That's gonna annoy him the entire run, but he should know to, to, to dust it off. Like, use a lifeline if you have to, right? All right, hopefully Teeks knows to wipe it off. Hopefully Teeks knows that he has seen in previous runs before that that, that is not that big of a deal, man. Right? We, we've witnessed it many, many times. Right, chat? We have witnessed it many times. Yeah, let's get some nice loud audio here. Yeah, we got to get Mario 3 in the ears for this race, guys. All right, Teeks is starting to catch back up a little bit here. Starting to go a little bit faster. Zone going to be the first person going for the MFP tunnel. Here we go. Let's see how he does. He's a little shaky. Oh, and he doesn't get it. All right. If Teeks gets MFP Tunnel here, then the whole death is wiped clean. He's good. He's back in action. He's just behind in time. All right, Teeks. Come on. You got this. Ah! <laughs> Teeks gets the MFP Tunnel back in action. And just like that, it's like it never happened. You see? Not a big deal. Not a big deal. There you go. Now, I want Zone to win, but I also want Teeks to win. So, the person who's behind, I'm going to be giving them, you know, some, some good cheer to catch back up. And the person to leave, I'm going to be giving some tough love, don't screw up, right? And then, you know... I'm going to quickly turn that around if they swip swap who's in the lead. Alright, Zone getting the Mushroom House. Is he going to get the Back Pocket Leaf Point? They both get good Hammer Brother RNG. Ooh, and Zone does not get good RNG here. Let's see if Teeks can get that back pocket point. Zone with the throne jump. Let's see if Teeks gets the leaf. And Teeks does get the leaf. You see, guys? A death is not the end of the world, but he does get throne jump. And Teeks also gets throne jump. Wow. Already an insane. Already an insane. Right? Already an insane world one. Whew. Well, Teeks has only benefit in RNG with, with the leap, right? The, the tunnel was all Teeks is doing and Zone has got a really nice lead in time, though. Really nice lead. So even though Teeks died, Zone still dead. World Zone still did World One very crispy. Um. So yeah, that's that's really good. Very nice fire kill for Teeks. All right, here we go, world two. 
It seems both runners are gonna probably do 2-1 and then go straight for the card. Is what I'm guessing. That seems to be what most runners are doing. Seems to be the, the fastest. Yep, Zone is gonna go back and he's gonna go for the 10 bucks and instantly flips over 10 bucks right there. Gonna check out his cheat sheet really quick. Boom, gets it. He was a little worried there, it seemed like. He wasn't he wasn't too sure. Teeks could take the lead here if he goes straight for the 10 bucks. And he goes straight for the 10 bucks. And he's out of there. Oh my god, he caught up so much there. And look at that, they're both at the same level. Let's see if either runner gets the Moat of Tears, which is what you don't want to see at all. You know, for the most part, you'll never see runners fall in that moat, but then you put stress on them in a race environment, and the next thing you know, people are jumping and swimming all over the place. All right, neither runner getting a fanfare. That's good. No Hammer Brothers yet. Zone still in the lead by what appears to be one, two, three, four five about five and a half seconds zone is still in the lead Ooh, teeks had a great opportunity to close that gap there if he would have got early p speed but hey man doesn't happen teeks is probably still a little shook um from that death in one one if only he had known that he tied it up and things are even because of tunnel versus not tunnel um but he doesn't know that so he's got to He's got to make the right decisions. He's got to learn how to clear his own head. That's what most runners have to do because you don't know where your opponents are in the races. It isn't until after the first race where you find out what the points are. Um, so good practice is to kind of teach yourself how to uh, work with those mistakes. And Teak's getting one backwards, bro, which is good. Meanwhile, Zone is doing Red Rocket Strat and he does get it very nice on Zone side. GG for the zone. Teeks has got to make sure he does not mess up this point here. He does get the red rocket, and he's close to the Hammer Brother RNG points. And he does get the red rocket as well. These runners are too good, man. They know these strategies very well. Teeks with an amazing backup there. That was really good. Not so much a backup, but kind of rushing that turtle shell as if you were using the green shell, which is uh, very scary. All right, here we go. Zone, fighting the sun. Teeks has one hammer brother left. He probably wants it to go to the mushroom house so we can safely do two five. Uh, that's gonna be my guess. A zone has not done a hammer brother yet. So it seems like Teeks is further behind, but he's really not. Zone should go up and he's going to do that. Zone's hammer brother also goes backwards. Very nice. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There we go. Oh wait. Yeah, Teeks and zone. There we go. All right. Okay, Zone is not going to be able to go. Teeks is nice. Very nice. Going to comfortably do 2-5. And this is how the runners have evened it up so far. Look at how close they are. Wow. They both have 33 coins as well. 34 coins. They are very close. Teeks hopes his hammer brother goes down. And it does. Very nice for Teeks. And Zone gets both backwards bros. Very nice for Zone there. Both backwards bros. Uh, Teeks is going to have to do the pyramid first before he fights his next bro. But that is going to be a pretty good advantage that Zone has, right? No one can sit here and say, well, Teeks got lucky because he got the leap and Zone didn't. That's not true because Zone got pretty lucky in World 2 here as well. So it's going to all come down to, to time and skill, it seems. Maybe a couple RNG points here and there, but... Uh, it's gonna be exciting. All right, Teeks gonna have to do some extra map movements, and Teeks gets a movement. Oh, backwards as well! Wow, both runners getting the same luck here. But it looks like Teeks is gonna be behind by a solid look. 855 A press versus an 850, 854. So Teeks is actually in the lead in terms of timer. Unfortunately, the race started when Zone started and Teeks had delayed his start just by a little bit. 
Ah, uh, Teak's not using his lifeline. Whew, this race is already intense, man. This is this is an intense race. Wait, did they both get thrown jump again? They both got thrown jump again. I love that. Nice. So yeah, it would seem that Teeks is ahead if you look at Teeks' timer of when he grabs the wand. Unfortunately, Teeks actually started like a couple seconds later. Um, so that's not gonna, we're gonna have to rely on the live counter in Discord here. All right. First frame jump, world three, zone's gonna go first. And he gets it, oh man, this is where the shared points really come into action, Teeks. Teeks also gets it, oh my God, so nobody gets it. These guys are unstoppable. Holy crap, man, this is insane. This is insane. Yeah, give me some MFP champs, MFP O's. Yeah, let's see those MFP emotes. All right, zone not quite out of the runaway range yet. We'll see what Teeks gets. Teeks definitely um, in a tough spot there for runaway, bro. They're both gonna do P speed very nice. Very nice from both of our runners. Teeks nailing it, zone killing it too. My goodness, they both still have 42 coins each. The score's a little different. Zone, still in runaway range. Um, and Teeks is still in runaway range. Okay, so both runners are still kind of in runaway, runaway range. Uh, Zone having a little bit of a turn back there. Wasn't confident in that jump, but he does nail it. Both runners are uh, doing really well here. 51 coins versus 49. Teeks did touch the pipe, so he's gonna lose his P speed there. And Zone is very close to runaway. If Zone gets runaway, he might go for the hammer. And Teeks is also very close to runaway. Teeks is gonna gamble. Zone with door four and he doesn't get it. So Teeks is gonna get the hammer here and he's gonna gamble. He's gonna gamble runaway. Let's see if he gets it. And he, oh, he didn't get it yet. He's got one chance, but he has to get the right movements. Teak's gonna go for door four here as well. Let's see if he gets it. Gonna go for the metronome. Oh, and he doesn't get it. The metronome failing him. He would have caught up a lot there too. Um, he's got two opportunities. Zone does get runaway, bro. So that is gonna be unfortunate for Teeks. Teeks has to get two perfect movements here to get runaway. Hammer Brothers got to move to the right, and then after he does 3-4, the Hammer Brothers got to move to the right one more time. And Teeks gets a bad movement. That is very unfortunate for him. Um, but it looks like Teeks is in a position where he can screen scroll the star here, and he doesn't have to worry. But he does have the hammer where Zone does not have the hammer. Very nice on Teeks' side, so he's gonna have to do the music. Yep, the cloud strategies. So I don't I don't know if this level is much faster or not. Very nice. 
Nice. Teeks does have the extra hammer, so he's gonna catch up a little bit there. Sorry, I was a little glued to Teeks is there. I wanted to see how that how that played out for him. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but Zone did not grab the hammer from World 3, right? Oh, he's got three throne jumps so far. Three throne jumps. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Zone did not grab the hammer because he'd have to almost do the same thing with the runaway, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, Teeks almost gets the age jump, but just misses it. He had the pixel there to wall jump, creating a lot of lag here. Very nice. Neither runner has taken damage yet either. Zone capitalizing on one extra hammer brother there. Or uh, one extra RNG point, I apologize. Um, and yeah, Teeks has gotten his hammer, so he's going to have to do it this way. Very nice. Teeks also gets the next throne jump. They both have three throne jumps. Nobody's gotten throne jumps yet. All right, so Zone looks like he's going to be good for the no fire flower loss. And he is. He has not taken damage yet. He has the same fire flower since world one, which is very nice. Moving on to world four. A couple easy points here in world four for these runners. Or so you would think. You never know what happens when you're in the race format, right? All right, here we go. Zone's gonna go first here. Nice shell grab, love to see it. Very nice on zone side, he does get it. Very nice on zone side, he does get it. All right, Teeks is also not taking damage yet. Should be up. Oh, come on, Teeks. Oh my gosh, that was way too close. But he did get the no damage, that's good. So Teeks is going to be able to use the hammer to skip the fortress. Oh, zone taking a little dip. Getting a little swim. Oh, falls in the water again. Yeah, man, that cloud strategy, I really thought it was like almost even or like loses you five or six seconds. But like, it looks like Teeks is behind by so much because... Not only does he fight the Hammer Brothers, so that's an extra 10 seconds. So if you fight the Hammer Brother and cross the bridge normally in World 3, you would really only be saving back an additional like 14 seconds or something. But because he had to do that little auto scroller and everything, that's really going to cost him. Very nice on Teeks' side. He does get bottom piece speed in end zone. Doing an amazing job in 4-3. That was incredible. Very nice. Very confident. All right, just like that, Zone is gonna have to do. This is the extra level that I was talking about. Zone was practicing it. Let's see how he does it. Oh, he doesn't get the stand up. That's okay. Doesn't take damage though, so he's good. Oh, but he takes the side damage. That is a tough spot. That is a tough spot. Uh, luckily for them, they're doing duck jumps in four six, so he doesn't really need that fire flower. It's not as it's not insanely important for him. Teeks with the amazing RNG here. He's gonna be able to use the hammer and fight the cloud bow right away. Very nice. Uh, zone only getting a movement of four here. Neither runner getting a marathon yet. Uh, zone is definitely an impossible opportunity since you cannot see the other hammer brothers, which means they gotta be, you know, somewhat close to each other. Zone does not want to take damage here. Ooh, yeah, that's good. If you take damage, you can't do the duck jumps, right? You can't do the duck jumps, you can't get the point. And here goes Teeks with a good RNG here. Gonna be able to use his hammer, grab that cloud right away. 
And Zone with the Hammer Brother Switch. That's amazing for him. He might be able to get the Cloud and P-Wing in one go here. Teak's not getting a Marathon either. Now let's see what Zone gets here. Oh no! Zone might get triple, triple shanked here by the Hammer Brothers. If that Hammer Brother moves left, he has to fight him. Oh, and he has to fight him. So he does get the inventory star point. Not only that, but he's fought extra Hammer Brothers in this situation. What a turnout for Zone. That is exactly what you don't want to happen. Doesn't want to take damage here. He's going to try and get all the duck jumps. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, Teeks is going to use a music box and they're both in the same level doing the same thing. Wow, absolutely insane. Going for the duck jump, zone nails it. Teeks is... Teeks is... He's going! And just like that, they both get the duck jumps. Very nice. Zone is not going to be able to get early peace speed, so Teeks, if he gets it here, it's going to be a nice time save for him. He's looking pretty good, looking pretty good, and he does get it. Very nice. Play a little catch up right here. Wow, guys. <laughs> oh, wow. Zone enters in on his timer at a 2110. Teeks enters on zone timer at a 2116. Wow. And Teeks gets thrown jump, but zone does not. Come on, Zone, you... Oh, Zone, you had it. Teeks has got four in a row right now. Zone got three. Very nice. Both runners did such an amazing job. Um, unfortunately, Zone did get lucky in World 3. Zone got more lucky in World 3 than Teeks, but Zone got way more unlucky in, in World 4 than Teeks did. And Zone played very well. Not to mention, he also had to do no fire strats for 4-6 and then had to re-grab it in the fortress, so... Uh, yeah, he did really well. He also had to do the first Fortress in World 4, which is incredibly difficult. Um, so, yeah, Zone is just hauling ass right now. Oh, what a lovely auto-scroller. Lord of the Rings Extended Edition is still shorter than this auto-scroller, right? How have I been? I've been awesome, man. How you guys been? Uh, Teeks did not lose his Fire Flower in World 3. Oh, Zone! Come on, Zone, bring it back. Oh, and just like that, Teeks takes the lead. What? What? How? Yeah, that was unfortunate for Zone. He had a weird hitbox there. Not his fault, man. Not his fault. I still think Zone has done an amazing job. Zone also has been able to keep the lead all the way up to World 5. Teeks has just brought it back. And a lot of that was done to um, some, uh, some RNG. Zone was forced to fight extra Hammer Brothers. However, Zone does have an extra P-Wing. So this is going to be interesting what Zone can do with that P-Wing. All right. Who's going to get the better fly here? Teeks gets a good fly. Zone also gets a good fly. All right, here comes the next point, the tunnel, the 28282. All right. 
Ooh, Teeks did a little bit of a turn back there. Oof, that's gonna be rough. Better line up right in that pipe. Yep, we've seen what happens when somebody misses the pipe. Two different str- I love- it. There's so many different strategies here, guys. Everyone does so many different strategies. But it looks like both runners are gonna nail this point here. Oh, Zone almost didn't get it. I'm so glad he got it. GG for both of our runners here. Teeks getting a movement of four. Zone getting a movement of four. That's it. Each getting a movement of four right there. Music box first for Teeks here. Zone's going to catch up a little bit by not doing the runoff. However, his turn back was a little too big for him to save the full amount of time from that. It's only a couple frames saves there, but made it work. Oh, down to the boom boom jumps here. Wow. All right, here we go. Let's see what Zone gets. Zone gets a... Not a movement of four, unfortunately. He's going to have to music box now. I see what Zone did there. He's trying to capitalize on that movement of four early. Uh, so he didn't have to worry later. Um, but, I, you know, they're gonna, you have to use the music box anyways, or, you know, so... Oh, Teeks missing that. Oh, Zone missing this. The same thing. Teeks flubbing around a little bit. Gonna give Zone the edge there. Zone is gonna catch up a little bit. Wow. Teeks has gotta stop flip-flapping all over the place. Zone's too good, man. You make one mistake, Zone's on you, man. He's on you. He's zoning in on you. All right, here we go, Teeks. Zone is a little closer, but Zone is going to get two coins at the end of this level, so he's good. All right, both runners with movements of, of four. One movement of four from both of our runners. This is when it's going to get a little scary. Teeks is in a good position. Zone takes the death! Zone takes the death. He didn't have Fire Flower, though. So hopefully Zone is prepared to be able to shake it off, man. Shake it off. Teeks not getting a movement of four like he hoped. He got a movement of two. Hopefully Zone can shake this off. He knows he doesn't have to go for it. Teeks doesn't get early P speed though. Zone can bring it back with that shared point. Teeks does not get the early P speed. I wonder what that was about. I wonder what that was about because if Zone gets early P speed, he brought it back already. He already brought it back. Zone with the movement of four. That's two movements of four for Zone. Teeks gets a movement of two. And Zone does get the early P-Speed. They bring it back just like that. Zone's got to get one more movement of four. And he's got the movement of four. Teeks, however, has only gotten one movement of four. Oh, Zone doesn't get it. Teeks gets another movement of four. They both have two movements of four. What is this? Oh, I see. Zone is going to go for the uh, don't get Fire Flower in World 5. Therefore, I can't lose it. Therefore, I'm safe. Meanwhile, Teeks is not going that route. Teeks does have Fire Flower. He's going to save some time on the, uh, on the Boom Boom fight here, though, for having it. All right, let's see. Zone gets a movement of four. So Zone has the movement of four RNG. And let's see if Teeks can uh, make sure that Zone does not get that advantage here. And Teeks does get the three movements of four. Holy shit. What is this race? This is insane. All right. Teeks in the... Uh, uh, this level's easy, but also very tough for some reason. I don't know what it is, but it's a tough level. So this is what I was talking about. Zone's going to have to stomp the boom boom. Not going to be able to save the time for, for the fire kill. Looking pretty hot, though. Teeks here is going to Music Box. Oh, Zone getting another movement of four. If you thought three wasn't enough, well, how about four? Oh, Teeks almost running into that hammer, brother. That is dangerous. Uh, lucky for Teeks, he is going to be able to get the fire kill. Um, and he's going to move on. Out of World 5, just like that. Wow. Wow. Just wow.
Yeah, Teek's got another throne jump. Yeah, dude. Teek has five throne jumps right now. So Zone is in a rough spot here. Even though Zone got some of those points back, Teeks not only has not got Inventory Star where Zone has, but Teeks has also has the Flower. So Teeks is technically ahead by two points. Ah, oh, Technician coming out, of course. Why am I not surprised? I no, Teeks is not missing the point for no loss. It's right there. I've already marked it. It's right there. Great, a 7,000th technician to come and look at nothing. Very nice, Teeks getting that fire kill. And followed up by zone. It's okay, T-Shift. It's okay. Next time, just, um, you should quickly rewi rewind the video and, and double check uh, for yourself. Um, I'm in the middle of the race, so I can't, you know, I can't go back, but you could, right? So, um, uh, something like that would definitely help a lot. But, we got it. We got it under control. We got it, right? Very nice, very nice. So Zone is behind by probably, what is it, 15, 20 seconds. Teeks 31, 13 entered the pipe. Let's see when Zone enters. Uh, 31, 13 on Teeks's side. So we have to watch Teeks's. All right, Teeks's first pattern is low. Okay, it looks about, somebody said about close to 40 seconds. All right. Wow, 40 seconds, that's a lot. Teek scrambling a little bit. That was rough, man. That was rough. All right, so Teeks' first... Whoa, get that peace feedback. back. Teeks' first pattern was low. Zone's first pattern is also low. They're both running the, the low zone. All right, Teeks getting pretty decent RNG. Oh, that was close for zone, but he does make it. Teeks doing this awkward, probably never happened to him before strategy. Very nice on zone side too. Very nice six fort one for both of our runners. Jesus. It's the one of the hardest levels in this world and they're both making it look so easy. All right, so they both got low pattern, and let's see how this goes here. Let's see how this goes. All right, Teeks has got the right hammer brother here, and he gets low pattern. Unfortunate. This is a great, great opportunity for Zone. Get another RNG point where Zone is slightly slipping up in skill with that debt. Um, he can make up in a little bit of extra RNG here that uh, Teeks is not able to capitalize on. All right, Teeks is gonna go for the despawn strategy. Wish him luck, ladies and gentlemen. Wish him luck here. Gets a good tail swipe, good hill, and he, yeah, he's good. Zone gonna fight the Hammer Brothers. Zone gets high pattern. Just like that, Zone is going to get another point right there. Teeks is two throne jumps away. Like, two throne jumps away, that's it. Zone doing a little bit of slow inventory here. Um, yep, Teeks got the extra music box, and he is out of there. Teeks not going to be getting an extra star. An extra star, bro. Nice. Zone gets the despawn strategy as well. He's not going to be losing any time to Teeks here. Oh, Teeks with the duck jump strategy. Very scary, but he's, uh, he's been around for a while. He knows what he's doing. All right, Zone is going to get the same RNG as Teeks. Uh, Zone doesn't have the- Oh, Zone has two more music boxes. Holy crap. All right, does Teeks remember to use his leaf? Teeks does remember to use his leaf. We have seen some runners not use their leaf there. So Teeks right there, now in the lead by one point. With a couple extra things on his side, Teeks gonna go for the wall jump here. We'll see who gets it. 
So Tix is going to do his wall jump manipulation, which is unfortunately going to lose him some time here. I don't know if Zone is going to uh, do the pipe transition, some pixel manipulation, but we know Tix is going to go for it. So let's see what he does here. It's uh, it's nice to get some good use from that pipe. Tix mo moves forward one pixel. Tix is 100% on the right sub pixel here. Let's see if he can make it work. And he does get the wall jump first try. He was 100% on the right pixel. It's going to be very hard for zone. Ooh, zone doing not the right sub pixel manipulation. We've seen other runners do it, but they've simply only gotten lucky from it. So if he gets it here, it's all luck. Whereas Teeks is doing it in a way where he's guaranteed to get it correctly. Oh, zone had the right pixel, but did not execute the A jump. Gets its second try. And just like that, Teex is going to get the point from that. And that is how shared points work. Oh, Zone does not want to get a star here. Very nice from Zone. And Teex tried to get the clip here. Not going to work. Zone, if he gets the clip here, holy crap, man. We saw him practicing it. He got it two times in a row in practice. So if he gets the clip here, then uh, he's going to tie it back up, which is insane. Which is insane. Oh, he just, he short hopped. Dang. Very close, though. He, I mean, he was a little far off, but the short hop. Uh, neither runner have used their lifeline yet. No lifelines used. I assume each runner is gonna lifeline in world or er, in race two if they decide to. Um. Oh, rough world six for zone, especially because he got lucky there. If he had got lucky in world one, nailed wall jump first try, and didn't get a star bro, he'd have the three points right now. Well, no, because Teek's got a first try. They'd actually be tied right now. That's the only thing they're missing. That's that's insane. Wait, did Teek's get thrown jump? No way Teek's got thrown jump. I was like studying points and shit. Oh no, Teeks is internet. No, Teeks. Come back to us, Teeks. Teeks. Teeks has one throne jump left. Why? What is it doing? What is wrong with you, Twitch? Oh no. It says he's live. Oh, Zone did use his lifeline? We won't know if Teeks gets any bumps. Zone gets its second try. I had to tell Teeks just to keep going, man. He was doing so well. But Zone is still going, and Zone gets 7-1 first try. Very nice. Uh, we're going to have to take Teeks' word for it. Um, whatever happens, happens. If he says he doesn't bump, then he didn't bump. Uh, Teeks is a very, very trusting good guy, so he would never do anything like that.
Uh, but so far, his stream is down. Yeah, ho yeah, maybe Teeks is local recording as well. But so far, Zone is in World 7. He's coming up to his first point. Nice, and Zone is not going to get punished. Zone is not going to get punished. We're just gonna keep refreshing Teeks. I made sure I messaged him in Discord. He doesn't have to worry. All right, no bumps in the overworld map. So far, he's looking pretty good. Teeks is like also six out of seven throne jumps like here. Like, come on, internet. Oh, looks like Zone is going to be able to get 183. And he gets it, 183. We don't know exactly what's going on for Teeks right now. Zone is gonna go for first try clip here and, oh, he got the right jump, but he didn't get the clip. Very nice from Zone, he does get it. We're just gonna keep refreshing Teeks' page. So he's eventually gonna come back online or something. Zone's trying to make sure he doesn't bump here in the overworld map. Nice, 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 I love to see it. Looking good so far. He's definitely going to go for hammer strats, right? Very nice from Zone. Although he does have two stars. He does have two stars. Oh, he's risking it, man. He's going for it. Ah, he went for the star. That's awesome. That's exactly what I talked about. Very nice. The Super Compromise Bros 3. Oh, and Zone takes the death right there. I have died in that exact same way. That is unfortunate because Zone had already used his cloud. Oh, no, man. That is rough. He had already used this cloud. Oh, and he gets he gets mid. He gets mid though. He gets mid clip. We have no idea what's going on with Teeks's. I'll just keep refreshing. Uh, I've not heard from him in Discord. Teeks did completely lose internet. He is back on, though. Uh, he has not started his stream back up yet. I don't know if he... I haven't heard from him yet. All right, Zone is now going to have to do Fire Flower strategies here. Going to grab that star again. Very nice. Ooh, didn't want to take that damage there. Teeks is still not live yet. Zone's still doing good. Zone's still in a good position here. Uh, considering we have no idea yet with Teeks. We just keep refreshing though, keep trying. Probably wait for him. He's probably, you know, on the airship or something. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. There you go. Teeks is back up. Teeks is back up. And it turns out he's already on the airship. Um, yeah. Okay. Okay. So zone did not bump, right? 
We will ask Teeks after, guys. We will ask him after. Zone did not bump. Oh shit, Teeks got all seven thrown jumps, dude. He got it and he got no bumps. First try 7-1 and first try 7-6. Wow. He got all seven thrones. First try 7-1, first try 7-6. Holy crap. It sucks we didn't get the C. We gotta take his word for it. Zone also got no bumps right there. All right, we are on auto scroller land. How are you guys doing? Oh yeah, Teeks is very trustworthy. I'll ask him if he's local recording though. And if he is, we'll ask him to screen share after the race. Teeks is very trustworthy. Teeks is a very, very good guy. So yeah, Peepo trust for sure. Uh, but we'll talk about it after the race. Also, he didn't mark 183. Well, Teeks doesn't have a tracker open. We're gonna go ahead and give Zone a refresh here. We'll give Teeks a refresh here. Okay. I thought I was going by his track. No, that's my, they're both my trackers. I, I do all the tracking. We're three seasons deep, my, and you just learned that? <laughs> Frickin' my! I I have I'm in control of the trackers here. Whee! Oh, good old auto scroller land. That's okay. I'm just screwing with you. I'm having a good time. Yeah, we'll we'll talk. We'll we'll have a more in-depth discussion um, with uh, with Teeks when the race is over. Yeah, zone in a rough spot there if you don't get that hammer, brother. Come on, zone. So zone needs to make sure. Zone needs to make sure that he gets the um, combo and conveyor for sure. He needs to make sure Teeks is going to get. Ooh, hand number two so far for Teeks. Zone needs Teeks to die here in hand trap two. Not happening though, not happening. Nice, Zone is now entering the Navy. Teeks only getting one hand, that's pretty good.
Teeks is bouncing around here. This is what Zone needs. Zone needs Teeks to panic. All right, Teek's going for the combo point. All right, Zone, you gotta get no hands. Come on, Zone, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, no hands, no hands. No hands, Zone. Yeah, Zone with the no hands. Guys, there has been so many no hands in this tournament. I think that's six. Six no hands so far. Six no hands so far. There has been more no hands in this season so far than there's been combined total of all the other seasons. That's insane, but Teeks does get the combo point. Teeks is gonna go for the conveyor points. Oh, he doesn't get conveyor points. That's an opportunity for Zone to bring it back a little bit here. Looks like Zone's gonna take second place as well. Teeks, almost. All right, Zone's gonna go for combo point here. Very nice, let's go Zone. He's gotta not let up. Very nice, 289, that's what he needs. Go 7-2, seven 7-2. Two, seven two. Nice, he's gonna go for the damage safety strat. Music no strat, very nice. The zone does get the combo point, that's what he needs. Zone not getting the conveyor. He needed that to get to get himself up to 16. He's behind by quite a bit here. This is going to be very tough. But uh, luckily for him, Teeks is not going to be able to get the sub 54. So he's not going to get those extra points there. All right, Teeks knowing he can't get sub 54, there's no harm in trying the clip. Uh, so he figured might as well. He doesn't know what position he's in in terms of against his opponent, but he's just gonna go for it, I guess. Oh, gets Karoo'd once. Yeah, Karoo'd me once. Shame on me. No Karoo'd me twice. All right, Teeks got to go for the fire kill here, and then he's won game one. This would have been much, much different if Zone had not taken a death on 742 after using a cloud. Zone had to do 79, then 742, and lost the hammer suit. Teeks coming in clutch with the win of a 54. 24, very nice for Teeks. He's gonna go ahead and give the dot done, and then we're gonna make sure we ask Teeks 
uh, what happened in his World 7 there, but very, very unfortunate. Very, very unfortunate for Teak. So what happened there was Zone died in 742 after using his cloud going across 79 after getting the hammer suit. So all of that time, all of that hard work uh, was lost. That's the only thing that's caused this, that, that's caused race one to uh, slide in a big points difference there. That's the only thing. If Zone had not taken that death, he would not have lost close to a minute plus an extra point uh, for that death, which means that no hands could have definitely put Zone back in the lead. Ooh, almost takes damage there. Oh, very nice move, man. He knew. He knew Bowser was going to troll him there. He knew Bowser was going to trick him. And just like that, game two is done. Very nice. Very nice. Zone is done. Very nice. Okay, we're just asking Teeks about... Oh my god, so why does the internet have to cut out? Apparently Teeks full cleared World 7. So apparently Teeks got 22 points there. Jesus. And he died in World 1. Holy fuck, look at Teeks' card right now. Jesus. Somebody this race was like, eh, you should reduce the throne jumps. I don't think anyone will get it. You should... Your points... Jesus Clip ruined the tournament for me. Yeah, yeah. And then Teeks comes across all seven throne jumps. Jesus. Yeah, so Zone might have actually won race one had it not been. So it looks like it's 22 to 15. Wow, that's so annoying. Insane. All right, five minute break. Five minute break for these runners. Damn, dude, 22 to 15. That's going to be very, very hard for Zone to bring it back. Um, but I'd love to see. I'm throwing shade. What did I throw shade on? 
Oh, the the one dude who assumed that the throne jumps weren't possible. Yeah, unfortunately for Zone, that's uh That's gonna be a hard game for Zone to bring it back, but we'll see. We'll see. Alright, five minute break, hold on. Yo, what's going on? Yeah, see, even Teeks is upset now that he, that he wasn't local recording, but it's okay. It's not it's not his fault. We all have internet issues. Yo, welcome back for six months. Thank you very much for the sub. And thank you very much for anyone else who supported me during that race. I was unable to catch it. I couldn't see anything. Um, but let me know if you guys did and I can thank you.
Oh, nice. Nice. Nice upload. Wow. Great. Yo, Ty, thank you very much. You're welcome back for 74 months, man. That's so long. So Teeks is just resetting his um his router. I think he already did it though. Yeah, it looks like he had already did it. Uh Dr. Wiley did nothing wrong. Thank you very much and welcome back. Welcome back for two months. Thank you very much. All right, it's gonna be a rough race too, but hopefully. We got zone ready, and hopefully... Yeah, 22 points for Teeks for game one. That's insane. And the only reason Zone doesn't have like 19 points right now is because of that death. That death, man. He might have he might have been able to take it. All right, Teeks is ready. Are you guys ready? Get your butts ready. Get your butts ready. You guys are ready? I know Twitch chat is ready. All right, let's go. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go. All right, who's going to start first? Gonna be zone, very nice. All right, here goes Teeks. Starting off world one from both these runners. Let's see if Teeks gets another one, one death right here. That would be kind of funny. I'm not gonna lie, that would be kind of funny. All right, zone. Oh, zone miss, oh, don't do too big of a turn back. Oh, the one, the one, one shenanigans, man. Have you, have you noticed? I feel like the most mistakes made in this entire tournament are actually in, in one, one. 1-1 one, one is tough, man. 1-1's one, not easy, but Zone's gonna unfortunately take that... Take that loss in the lead here. Not gonna be able to get early P-Speed on Zone's side. Come on, now... See, now I'm cheering... I'm gonna be cheering for Zone Hardcore. Zone was winning 65% of last race. Now this time, he's starting in, in behind. So now, Teeks has gotta start making some mistakes, and Zone's gotta start catching up. 
Big things can start coming from here. All right, come on, Zone. Get the early P-Speed. Nice. Zone is going to stay here. Zone is not going to go for Orb Jump. That's a good idea. Very nice. Gets the Leaf Grab. Very nice. He should be able to get up there. No problem. Yeah, there we go. Nice. No problem. Zone gets the tunnel! Oh my god, and that's exactly what he needed! That's exactly what he needed. Teeks did not get the MFP tunnel, but Zone did. That is exactly what Zone needed. Now Zone also needs to get the the the, the leaf from the mushroom house while Teeks does not get the leaf. This is the start, guys. This is the start of a turnaround. I'm telling you. This is the start of Zone's comeback. All right, Teek's going to the Mushroom House first. Zone so gonna go to the Mushroom House. Teek gets the Mushroom. This is it, Zone. You need to conjure it, make it happen. Oh, they both got a Mushroom. Team first chest, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of team first chest. Ooh, no throne jump for Teeks. Zone. Oh, Zone gets the throne jump. Very good world one for Zone there. Very good world one for Zone. Moving on to world two. Right on. Right on. Let's do it. I'm team middle chest forever. Yeah, team middle chest forever. Yeah, team chest grab forever. Come on, airships. We've had enough of you. All right, before we go any further, do you guys want to watch a TAS reaction video of Mini Kaizo Bros 3 with me? Tompa made a TAS, that's right, Tompa made a TAS of Mini Kaizo Bros 3 that has not been released yet, and we could watch it on stream if you guys want. And I know you guys haven't seen my pretty little face in a while, so. All right, Teek starting off 2-1. Very nice, very nice. Nice, so both runners are very good at 2-1 here. They're gonna do a great job with the uh with the 2-1. Teeks is gonna go back, go for the 10 bucks. Teeks, oh, almost forgets. Gonna give Zone a little bit of a catch-up there. Teeks is gonna go straight for the 10 bucks, gets 10 bucks right away, and then he is out of the spade card game. Uh, this is a strategy that Teeks used last time to get a good lead here. Zone is going to grab the 10 bucks, but then he's also going to be grabbing items. And as you can see, this is where Teeks is going to catch up here. This is where Teeks is gonna Oh, Zone is actually going to just get the stars. Very nice. Good decisions from Zone. Uh, neither runner falling in the moat of tears so far as it seems. Zone is not past it yet. Come on, Zone, do it. Very nice. Very nice. Red rocket time for these runners. Teeks is gonna go for his first hammer, brother, and he is going to get. Oh, wait, no, he's not ready for it yet. Teeks not getting early P speed. This is a great spot. A great spot for um, for Zone to catch up. A little bit of time here. Come on. Ah, oh, Zone is also not going to get early P-Speed. Rough, man. This level for both runners, for both races, has not worked out. 
And uh, that's a big time difference right here between our runners. All right, neither runner has lost their fire flower yet, though, so that's also very good. All right, Teak's gonna do his first hammer, brother, right here, forward and backwards. He's gonna get forward, so the RNG has already not been working out in favor of Teeks. It's two points less, three points less, actually, so far in this race than last race on Teeks' side. So I'm gonna go for Red Rocket. We're gonna get a double Red Rocket going here. Both were able to keep P speed. Both fighting through the leg right here. Uh, uh, all right, there you go. Very nice. And they both made the red rocket. Boom, boom. But you see, Zone needs to win by catching up in time, but also Teeks has to start failing some of these points. And Zone has already used his lifeline, so there's nothing he can do here, unfortunately. Ooh, Zone is in an uncomfortable spot. Zone can actually get a big marathon here. Zone is in a, is in a situation where he could get a big marathon. Very nice sun level from both these runners. Okay, he doesn't get a marathon. That's good, though. Very good. Zone's first hammer, brother, is backwards. This is it, man. Is this the start? Is this the start of Zone's... Ooh, on... Never-ending onslaught. That's right, onslaught. Instead of onslaught, onslaught. Nice, got 3-2-5 at ease. Antiques is going to do the pyramid. Uh, Teeks is actually not getting any more coins, so I'm a little worried for him here. He's got to be paying attention to his coin count, and Zone does get both bros moving backwards for Zone. That's incredible. That is incredible. He's already gotten a lot of points here. Teeks' bro moves backwards. So out of two, four, out of eight Hammer Brothers, only one time did they move backwards. Or sorry, forwards. That's hilarious. Because they both got the point last race, and then Zone got it this race, and then Teeks got one forward and one back this race. That's crazy. Oh, man. Zone will try hard to get floor clip. Did Zone get thrown jump here? Did Zone get thrown jump? Because if he did, then that's also really good. Ooh, that's the power of Zone. He already has the advantage here. Um. All right, moving on to world three for these runners. Oh, Teeks does manage to clear it up there. Zone not too far behind. Zone needs to come back and take the win in time as well. He needs to take points away from Teeks. Very nice on Zone's side. Teeks is going to be the first person to go for frame jump in 3-1. All right, this is exciting. Here we go. Come on, Teeks. Come on, Teeks. Come on, get it. Teeks! Oh, man! This is an opportunity for Zone to get another point over Teeks. This is crazy. 
There's no way this is gonna work out like this. There's no way. You gotta get this jump zone. You gotta get this jump. Ah! <laughs> he gets it! What is this? This is nuts. I'm glued into this hardcore. All right, Teak's not quite in or out of runaway range here. Not quite in or out for runaway range. Uh, zone getting the same Hammer Brother movement as Teak's. Zone also needs to make sure he does not lose his Fire Flower here. Very nice. Atik's also, again, still not in or out of runaway range. He's in the, he's in the same boat. But uh, Zone needs Teeks to lose his Fire Flower. That's what needs to happen. While Zone keeps in. They're both getting the same Hammer Brother movements. The exact same Hammer Brother movements. Very close to one another. Very close. Teeks continuing to still get the same Hammer Brother movements. Alright, he's gonna go for door four here. Ah! Teeks' is door four has failed him twice. Zone coming in hot for door four. If Zone didn't go for door four, he would actually take the lead in time right here. But he is going to go for door four and he doesn't get it. No. If only they knew, man. If only they knew. Uh, Zone had to try for it though because Zone does need to get points here. Zone cannot afford to not go for any points. He's got to get them. Teeks is just constantly getting bad hammer brother movements. Not getting runaway. Zone is in a position to get runaway here. He's got to get it right here. Is Zone going to get runaway? Right here. Is he going to get it? He does get it! Wow! This is nuts. The zone's got to catch up right here. Making, make, this is making for an amazing game too. Teeks does have his lifeline, but after that game one, he might not find any reason to use it. He might believe that he's too far in the lead. Imagine losing from doing that. All right, and just like that, Zone and Teeks are in the same level. It's coming down to a very small amount of things that can really stop each runner from losing their Fire Flower. Alright, very nice from these runners. Looking good. Teeks is doing an, an amazing job staying in the lead. Uh, Teeks isn't clearing out the points that he wants or that he needs, but he is doing an amazing job keeping that lead. I mean, he got the H jump again just right there. Zone's gonna have to get that H jump if he wants to make sure the gap stays tightened here. He doesn't want to keep bleeding all this time here. Doing a big turn back, almost touched the music note, but he's good. That was very nice. He's going to make sure that Teeks doesn't keep that huge lead. As long as he doesn't take damage here. Very scary with those fish. Um, technically, each runner should get through without taking damage. So we'll give him the points now. And move on to World 4 right here. Zone so far has got three thrown jumps. So far, Zone's got three throne jumps. Oh man, this is imagine they Teeks gets 15, Zone gets 22 in the next race. Like fuck. So technically Zone is only behind by two points right now, right?
do 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 All right, coming to World 4, both runners are very close. Very close to each other. All right, here we go. Very nice, Teek's getting bottom key speed. It's Zone's turn. Zone also gets bottom P speed. Very nice. Oh, not duck jump. Bottom P speed from both of our runners. Uh, Teek's getting a movement of four. It's not possible to get a marathon after the first level, so uh, we can deduce that that was a movement of four. However, the Hammer Brothers moved, could have moved up, and then he did the movement of four, and then now he's on the right side of four six, which means they are in marathon range. So let's see what happens. Let's see if Teeks gets a marathon here. Very possible. Nope, no marathon yet. Zone is very far from a marathon. As you can see, both his Hammer Brothers are on screen, which means uh, the two of them can't swap. Uh, Teek's getting very good RNG here, and Zone not getting good RNG here because the Hammer Brothers just switched and he needs the cloud, not the star. Both World 4s have not been nice to Zone at all, at all. And it looks like the gap has gotten much smaller between Zone and Teeks. That's not true. Uh, Teeks has already fought his Cloud Bro, whereas Zone has not fought his Cloud Bro yet. So it looks like they're very close, but, but not quite. Zone is also getting big Hammer Brother movements, making it a little bit hard. A little bit hard. All right, Teeks in a good position. Zone is kind of in a good position here. Um, but Zone should have used a music box before doing this level. Had he used the music box, he would be able to finish both levels. Or potentially wait and cross. I'm, I'm not exactly sure. And Teeks annihilating this level. Being able to use his Fire Flower for the end here. Fortunately, Zone lost this. But no punishment for Zone, so that's good. Uh, Teeks still not getting any kind of marathon. Him Brothers just kind of running away from him. Meanwhile, Zone is getting a very bad movement here. He does not want to fight that guy. Uh, but that's not that's not that bad for Zone because the other Hammer Brother didn't show itself. Uh, which means he's going to have some clear clear ground there to actually get an extra P-Wing and get the Cloud there if he, needs, if he needs to get that. So That's just the way it works. Zone's got to make sure he doesn't take damage here. I don't think he got any backup items. All right, he's good, he's good. Teek's gonna use this music box here. Go for the duck jumps. All right, let's have it. Uh, Zone needs you to fail this, Teeks. Needs you to mess up. Are you gonna mess this up, though? Uh, Teeks seems to have his own plan here with how he's gonna do it. Zone in the exact same position as he was before, so he should be able to do this. And Teeks is getting all the duck jumps. Very nice for Zone. All his duck jumps, all his jumps are ducks. Very nice. Zone is making sure that Teeks cannot get any kind of lead on him. And uh, Teeks not getting early P-Speed this time. Uh, but sadly, you're gonna see a big difference. Yep, that is the Hammer Brother that Zone wants. Zone probably doesn't want the P-Wing, but Zone is in an uncomfortable position. He has to get lucky no matter what. So, Right? So the Hammer Brother didn't move in his way, but the Hammer Brother could move in his way after he beats this level. So, um, what Zone is actually looking for right here is to have the Hammer Brother facing right when he beats that level. If the Hammer Brother is facing right and has no other option between going right or left, he'll always go right. Weird, right? <laughs> so yeah, if the Hammer Brother is facing right, Zone got incredibly lucky at the end of this World 4. Like, really lucky. Let's see what happens. Oh, no, not quite. Oh, but he still got lucky anyways. Wow, very nice for Zone. Oh, and he doesn't get thrown jump. No. He was three for seven, man. He was three for seven. All right, this very short, not boring auto scroller. Neither runner getting marathon. 
Wow. Come on, auto scroller. Do 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 do. Finally! Alright, looking good on Teeks' side. Steaks is gonna go for the music box. Sorry guys, I gotta rest my throat during the World 4 auto scrollers. I gotta leave you guys hanging there. Oh, Teeks with a very nice fly. Zone is slowly catching up here. Oh, we gotta get a crazy World 5 for some of these runners here and see what happens. Alright, Teeks gets a movement of two. Nothing special. So I'm gonna use this P-Wing here. Very nice. Oh, Teeks missed the pipe. No. I think that's going to affect it. That's got to affect it, right? That's going to play a huge role, isn't it? No, no. He looks good. No, Teeks looks good. All right. He got it. Very nice for Teeks. I was nervous there for a minute. I was nervous. Oh, Teeks with a movement of four. Very nice for Zone. That was really good on Zone's part. Zone is going to get the 282 as well. He's not letting Teeks catch up, man. He's not letting Teeks catch up. But Zone has to take the lead in time. He has to take the lead in time. Zone getting a movement of three, which means it's impossible he could have got a movement of four before. Not going to use the music box here. Teeks already used his music box. So we're going to see what kind of position Teeks is in. He's got one movement of four. Zone's got no movements of four yet. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Ah, uh, Zone getting another movement of three. Not going to be able to capitalize on those moves of four, man. Not going to be able to. Not yet. Especially with those movements of three and the other Hammer Brothers are kind of split. It's going to make it really hard for him. Teeks having a good twisty castle. 278, not bad. Not bad. Teeks is not in a huge movement of four position. So let's see what kind of, let's see what happens here. Teeks is going to go for the big jump. Looks like Teeks is going to get it. Teeks does get it. Very scary. Zone went for that last time. I don't know if Zone's going to psych himself out here uh, and get a little scared for this point, but he cannot afford to really lose any points here. 
He's got to get points that Teeks isn't going to get. Teeks gets another movement of four, so Teeks is one movement of four away. Teeks does not get early P-Speed again. This is a great opportunity for Zone to get another point on top of Teeks. Zone does a quick turn back. Zone makes it. That was so scary, man. That was so scary. Zone has to get early P-Speed here, though. He's got to get early P-Speed. Teeks might get all movements of four here. Teeks does get all movements of four. Wow, so even when Zone tries to get points, he can't get them. That's another early P-Speed. Zone still no movements of four yet. He's gonna have to take this area slightly slow. Oh no, he took the damage there. He has the extra stars. I don't know if they're accounted for or not though. I don't know. Teeks getting another movement of four. Zone. Not getting any movements of four, man. He's not getting any movements of four. Zone's not going to go for Fire Flower. I like that. That is good. That is a good idea. Teeks has got his Fire Flower. Teeks going to be able to save a little bit of time by a boom boom kill here. But if Teeks loses Fire Flower, you know what that means. You don't want to die while you have that Fire Flower equipped. That is dangerous. Teeks, another movement of four for Teeks. Ooh, zone a small Mario. What's he going to do here? That was a little rushy there for, uh, for that. Small Mario Fortress. He's got to get the power up or not. How is he? I don't know. Very interesting situation that zones in here. He's not behind by too much. Nice. Takes a throne jump. Zone finally gets a movement of four here. Very nice. So it looks like so what so it looks like zones behind by a couple couple seconds here. Good solid 20 or 30, right? Hold on a sec, I have to change my battery for my headset. Do, 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 I highly doubt Tix is going to lose his Fire Flower here. I highly doubt he's going to lose it. No, I lost no punish. Zone definitely needed Tix to lose his Fire Flower. He needed him to lose it, but he didn't. He did not. No lifelines used yet. And Zone still with the score 16 to 12 over Teeks. Which means he's only two behind. Very nice. Very nice. All right, here goes Teeks. What is Teeks' first pattern going to be? High or low? And he's going to get low. Very nice. Oof, that's a bad, bad situation. And I don't think Teeks has an extra music box. Yeah, I don't think he's got the extra music box, right? Unless he didn't use it in... Uh...
from World 3. Very nice star graph from Teeks. All right, Zone's first Hammer Brother battle is going to be high. Zone high, Teeks low. Very nice. That's kind of good for Zone, so we didn't have to do any sliding or ducking under any, any Hammer Brothers, which is kind of nice. And a very fast Hammer Brother movement there. So Teeks is in an uncomfortable position. Zone's gonna use his tail there. Very good strategy for Zone there. That was nice and comfortable, nice and easy, looking good. Teeks is also doing great. Nice, Zone's gonna grab the star here. Cling, cling. Very nice. All right, Teeks is in a position. He has to use this music box. That's very unfortunate. So that's gonna cost Teeks some time at the end of World 7. Teeks is going to have to uh, fight the extra piranha plant at the end of World 7. So far, Zone doesn't have to. So that's a good 20 second or so uh, advantage that Zone now has on Teeks. Uh, that is a really good thing to, to turn the tables here. As long as no one's dicking around and they make it, this could come to that and the hands at the end. That's crazy. All right, Teeks cannot fight his hammer brother yet. He is deciding to go to the mushroom house, which is going to help zone even more. This is insane right now. This is insane. So Teeks is not Teeks is not going to fight any star bros, and Teeks is also going to get high pattern. Wow, the RNG for Teeks. Zone needs Teeks to not benefit from one piece of RNG and it's just very difficult here. Very difficult for Zone. But Zone is definitely ahead. He's catching up now, man. He's catching up by a lot here. And the Hammer Brothers switch for Zone. That's amazing. He doesn't have to use it and Zone gets low pattern. So Zone is going to get the high versus low and no inventory stars. Absolutely beautiful. That switch right there was amazing. And just like that, it's all up to floor clip and wall jump. Yep, you're gonna have to backtrace it. Very nice. Very nice for zone. That was a good, good smart play here. Oh, Teeks is also gonna go back into the pipe transition. Ba-ba-ba-bum. Yeah, so Teeks is going to lose a couple seconds here, actually, by trying to do this. He's going to come back out. Oh, Zone had thought he was he was in that little pit there. So he decided. Oh, Teeks doesn't get first try wall jump. Very nice for Zone. Teeks does get wall jump, but not first try. This is finally an opportunity for Zone to take this. It's finally an opportunity for Zone to take this. Something. He needs something here. He's got to get a first try, man. Ah! He gets a first try! This race is insane! Zone does not want to get fanfare here. He doesn't get fanfare. Teeks got to get the clip. Oh, I thought Teeks had the clip there. That was insane. Zone going for the floor clip, man. Someone other than iBoob has got to get it. It's ripe, ripe for the taking. Oh, not quite, man, not quite. That would have put him in the lead for points, wouldn't it? Or tied him up. Tied for points. Teeks not using his lifeline yet. Moving on to World 7 for both these runners. Oh my gosh, it is anyone's game right now.
Geek's gonna enter first, but they're very close to each other. Deeks is gonna go for the guaranteed subpixel 15 right here. Looks like he's been practicing. It looks like he's refined it where he doesn't have to wait as long. All right, zone closing in. What kind of subpixel manipulation is zone gonna go for here? I don't know, zone. That looked like you pressed pretty heavily. That looked like a heavy press, man. I'm not sure, I'm not sure. Yeah, if you guys actually wanna watch something really cool after this race is we're gonna watch through the brand new task speed run of Mini Kaizo Bros 3. Ah, Teeks with a guaranteed sub, I'm tell I told everyone, I posted in the Mario Discord, I showed everyone how you can get a guaranteed sub pixel 15 100% of the time, but runners are choosing not to use it. Teeks seem to be one of the only ones who use it. Come on, zone. Subpixel 14 or 15. Ah, dang it. You have no time to waste here. Got no time to waste. You, it's hard to compete with that guaranteed 100%. Subpixel 15 never fails. Come on, Zone. You got this, man. Yes! Zone is in there. That's perfect. Not bleeding too much time. However, he was already behind by a little bit of time, so that's going to cost him a little bit more. Teeks trying to get the pipe to pipe. Nice try, bud. Nice try. Although I did want to see it, so like seriously, nice try though. All right, zone in uh, seven two, no bumps yet. Zone definitely needs Teeks to do a bonk here. These runners are very close to each other. Zone not bonking yet either. Teeks, maybe he's gonna get punished in this level, maybe not, but that's what Zone needs. Oh, Zone taking damage. He's gotta take it slow. Take it slow. Very nice. Zone gonna get the pipe to pipe. Now we're impressed. Very nice. Teeks finishes 7-3, no punishment. Yeah, man, you gotta take it slow there. No dicking around. Teeks no bumps yet. Very nice. Zone also no bumps yet. Looks like Teeks is gonna go for that 183. Nice, gets the 183, very nice. Zone no box. Teeks also no box. Oh, and he doesn't get first try, not like last time. Was that a bonk on Zones part? Can we get someone to confirm? Was that a bonk on Zones? Oh crap, Teeks is messing up. Teeks gets the clip, but Zone could catch up here. Zone does get the point. Oh man, if Zone, if Zone gets seven, six first try here, Oh, come on, dude. Get it. Get it. Oh, come on! No! No! You need this! Oh, Teeks take, taking a little bit of damage there. Come on, Zone. Get it! You don't have time! Come on, you got this! Zone! No! Come on, Cliff. Come on, get in there! Oh, my gosh! Oh, no! No! Zone is not losing yet. He's still doing fine. He's got so many points. Oh, man. The bleed. The bleed. No. Oh, he gets it. He's in there. Okay. Although, Teeks, man. Oh, that level was just so good by Teeks. Oh, 
Politics doesn't have the music box! That's right! Oh, Zone getting clips, man. The clips got him. We're not quite in hands range yet. Yeah, we're not quite in hands range. That's unfortunate, man. All right, Zone's gonna switch it up here. He's gotta get these clips. Uh, the clips have not been nice to him at all, so I don't know why he would chance it. Although, that was good, come on. Keep it hot. Oh, yes, go! No! Oh, okay, mid clip. Oh, get out of there, yeah. Okay, this is actually pretty good. This is pretty good here, right? I think? How far behind is Zone? He's, he's like a minute behind, right? I don't know, I don't know. Still no lifeline, still no lifeline. He's a minute and 15 behind? Ouch, man, that's too much time. Dang it, man. Yeah, let's see when let's see when Peaks grabs the wand here. Oh, I marked zone for seven six first try, I didn't mean to. It was no P wing. That's right. And now I miss when Zone grabbed the wand. Damn it! When did when did Teeks grab the wand? Forty four thirty six on Teeks's timer. Okay. Forty four thirty six for Peaks. All right, world eight. Teeks hasn't used the lifeline yet. Oh man, Zone had this, right? Because Teeks is five points behind. So if Teeks got first, Teeks, uh, Teeks would actually have 15 right now, which would make up the, is there a, there's a seven difference points total though, right? Yeah. So Zone is one minute and two seconds behind. One minute and two seconds, so no hands versus all hands. Yeah, I don't know. Zone already got no hands, so for him to for him to need no hands again. And uh, again, like I said, guys, if you're enjoying yourselves, we can watch a brand new tool assisted speed run. Um, I could start it right up after this if you guys want, um, and we can watch the brand new mini Kaizo Bros task that was made by Tampa. Um, but if you leave, you won't get to watch it because it's not published anywhere. You have to be here to watch it and see the brand new task. So if you leave, then you suck. So just remember that. <laughs> um, I've already watched the task. It's going to be, it's very, very good. And I'd love to get a re reaction live on uh, streams for uh, YouTube. It's a very good task. 
Just watch the VOD. Nope, deleting VOD. Never gonna happen. All right, Teeks is on the Navy. Let's go, Teeks. All right, zone, very nice. Zone is entering the Navy just now. Let's go, let's go. Good luck, boys, good luck. The good news is, is they're both on the Navy at the same time. Yeah, Zone needs a miracle here, though. Like, he's so close, though. He's so close. He's so close. Ah! Teek's getting hand one! There's no way that the gaming gods are gonna do this. There you go, Teeks only gets pulled in by one hand! That's rough, man. That's hard for Zone. The only thing, man, is if Teeks dies on this Air Force, that would change a lot, man. That would change a lot. I don't see that happening, though. Zone getting pulled in by one hand as well. Teek's almost losing hammer suit there. Oh, and Zone loses hammer suit in hand one, a level that they don't even need to play. That is the worst. Zone getting pulled in by hand number two. Oh man, this race is crazy. Oh, Teeks, Teeks is just making it. All right, Teeks gets the combo here. All three hands for Zone. Hey, hey, it's fitting though, right? Zone got no hands last race. He gets all three hands this race. It's fitting. Technically, Zone got the same RNG both, both runs, so. Ooh, and Teeks gets the conveyor P-Speed, right there. <laughs> Zone used an IOU on the hands. Zone has a ridiculous amount of points here. He's looking to come in second place though. It's crazy, man, because Zone has the lead in points for this race. Man, game one, dude. Game one. All right, Zone, come on. Get the combo points. 
You got this. And don't forget, guys, we're going to watch a brand new tool assisted speedrun for Mini Kaizo after this. Don't forget. Very nice for zone. Very nice. He's going to get the combo points. 290, that's good. You guys will get to see my pretty face again. All right, zone. Come on, zone needs to get these two extra points here to bring it up to 22 points. <laughs> Why shoot the fireball if you're just gonna damage boost? It's probably just habit, right? Very nice combo points for zone. Teeks still not using his lifeline. Very nice on Teeks' side. Zone getting conveyor P speed. I'm glad to see that, man. 22 points for Zone, man. Holy crap. It would be 23 if Zone would have got first place in the race. Oh, Teeks, man. Teeks is flip flapping. Wow, and just like that, Teeks. Makes it with 18 zone with 22, but zone is a little too far behind in game one. A little too far behind in game one, unfortunate, man. Very nice GG for Teeks, guys. Teeks is going to be advancing into the semifinals. Well, unfortunately, zone is knocked out. However, zone had an amazing an amazing, amazing race two with so many points. Look at his, look at his tracker. Look at his tracker, disgusting. Unfortunately, it was the clips though, man. The, there's just so much time lost to the clips. And right now, we're just letting Zone finish up here. Very nice. Zone's got Bowser's Castle. That's it. Again, like I said, very unfortunate. Uh, but someone has to lose. It sucks that it was zone, and if Teeks lost, it would suck that it was Teeks. Um, I missed it. Who who sent a raid? I it was there a raid? I missed it. It didn't even show up. It didn't even show up. It didn't even show up. Uh, whoever it was, thank you very much. You think Teeks would give me a run for my money? You mean Teeks going up against the guy who hasn't routed or practiced any of the points? Yeah, I think so too. If Zone didn't die in 742, final score, 40, 40 to 37. Jesus. My God, what an insanely close race, guys. That was that was way, way too close, man. That's insane, dude. Oh my gosh, that was so cool, man. What what an insane, what an insane thing, man. Wow, wow, GG's to the runners. Yeah, those deaths, man.
They played great, but not great enough, guys. He did not play great enough. He did not play great enough.